Hi, welcome to my channel. And today we are going to discuss the emitters. As discussed in the previous lecture, that emitter is a component of node itself. So it is in continuation with the node lectures itself. So let us start with the emitter. The emitter is a property of a junction, and it is not a separate component in Ethernet, like uh, nodes, pipes. So Ethernet. Uh, embeds emitter into the uh, junction itself so flow through nozzle or orifices can be modeled through epa uh, emitter and it is also used to model the flow through sprinkler system or irrigation in irrigation networks okay so in water networks they can be used to model uh, leakages or uh, a fire flow that may occur in emergency cases so this is the formula on which this emitter the concept of emitter is based upon where q is discharge alpha is alpha and beta are the discharge coefficient and emitter exponent and p is the pressure at the junction so the working principle is very simple we'll work out one example and let us quickly go through the ethernet actually i want to make very clear that this alpha and beta values needs to be identified very carefully you cannot place the values randomly but there are certain criteria for from which alpha and beta are defined so let us go to the ethernet we'll simply draw a basic network with one reservoir and two or three nodes and a few links so let us quickly set the properties of reservoir again properties of elevation okay so let us fix the elevation to 95 base demand as 1.5 for this node now here comes the emitter coefficient so let me place a random value as of now i am placing a random value just to make you understand how it works okay elevation is 94 base demand is 0.5 and emitter coefficient is 0.2 again base demand as 1.5 let us take it and emitter coefficient as 0.2 again so this emitter coefficient is the alpha value and here you will find it in defaults and in hydraulics you will find the value of emitter exponent that is beta which is 0.5 by default so in case of uh, orifices and nozzles the value is 0.5 and the value of uh, c value that is the emitter discharge coefficient is given by the um, manufacturer himself okay so let us run the program and see the outputs so in the output uh, what are the parameters of importance is the actual demand total head pressure okay so as you can see we uh, gave the input of elevation of 95 and demand as 1.5 but due to this emitter coefficient and emitter exponent the emitter function got activated and the actual demand varied we put the base demand of 1.5 but the actual demand is coming out to be 1.79 or around 1.8 so how this uh, value is calculated let us see suppose this is our formula so q is equal to alpha into p to the power beta so alpha value we have identified 
as q equals to the alpha value was 0.2 is yes into the pressure at node what was the output the output was 2.17 okay the output was 2.17 raised to the power 0.5 that is emitter exponent so this is the value of discharge or pressure dependent discharge of emitter so this value needs to be added with your actual demand or oh, sorry your base demand plus what was the value of base demand 1.5 so 1.5 is your base demand so if i calculate the total discharge or the actual demand at node there is the calculator okay so let us calculate this so 2.17 under root of 2.17 square root okay so this is 1.473 so let us take it 1.47 1.47 into 0.2 this is 0.294 let us round it off to two digits that is 0.29 0.29 plus 1.5 oh sorry 0.29 plus 1.5 so you can see the demand as actual demand as 1.79 this is what we are getting over here so this is how the actual demand or you can say the difference between the base demand and actual demand can be considered as leakage no problem with that but i am again repeating the value of this alpha and beta needs to be identified very carefully in case of uh, fire flow or emergency demands the emitter coefficient can be increased let us see what happens so here you can see the actual demand has is increased okay so this the base demand was 1.5 and the actual demand was 16.2 so this is how oh, you work with the emitters even in case of total network when you don't know about alpha and beta and you have to suppose simulate 20% leakages of the total demand of network so accordingly you have to set the values of alpha and beta you have to distribute the 20% leakages on all the nodes of the network all the demand nodes of the network suppose if there are three nodes so i have to distribute the uh, leakages accordingly into equally into this three demand nodes Thank you.